Hey everyone, welcome to Frostbite Central. Take a look at that. Tell me that doesn't look cold. I'd say that looks pretty cold. What do you think? Oh, let's get this car started. Jeez. Today's video is sponsored by Monster Energy. Those heart palpitations mean you're losing weight. And you totally won't die if you drink too much of this stuff. I love it. This video is sponsored by Monster Energy, reminding you that the red octagon means stop, you know! This video is sponsored by Monster Energy. Adrenal fatigue is totally not a thing. I just left a business that called me out because they thought they needed to get new computers all new computers and the reason they thought they needed all new computers is they have new accountants and those accountants are having problems getting the information pulled over the internet from this business's machines to the accountants machines <clears throat> now here's where it gets really fun they're not getting new computers they were talking about, oh, can you upgrade the processors or something like that. Well, it wouldn't do any good. Because as soon as I found out, the accountants are trying to pull their data over. And I remembered, because I set them up almost a decade ago with Wi-Fi and whatnot, I remembered that they had CenturyLink. And they probably were still running the package that they had almost 10 years ago. I had them run a speed test. Yeah, they were getting 1.5 megabits down and 0 0.5 megabits up, which is 512 kilobits per second, which roughly comes out to about 50 kilobytes per second. So I explained to him, your problem is that it will take you about 20 seconds to upload one megabyte. If you have a 100 megabyte file, you're going to be sitting there for a good little while, 30, 40 minutes. And basically, the solution was to call CenturyLink and see if they could get a better internet package. The other thing, too, is that you never know when your internet service provider is going to change the packages that are available, maybe put a better one out there, because they aren't going to tell you. So it doesn't hurt once a year to call them up and ask them anyway if they have something better that they can put you on that will cost you less money and give you better service. A lot of people think their computers are slow when it's really their internet service that's the problem. So before you go running out, spending a bunch of time and money, having someone like me try and fix your computer because it's slow, go somewhere like speedtest.net and run a quick internet speed test to see if you're getting a fast enough connection. Compare the speed test you get against other figures you find online for what you need if you want to do certain tasks. I don't know of a good resource for that, but the bottom line is if you're getting under 10 megabits downstream and you're getting under 1 megabit upstream, your connection's pretty bad, at least in modern terms. And you probably should see if you can get a better one. Anyway, don't blame your computer when it's the internet. This little nugget of wisdom has been brought to you by the number 1.5 because that's the downstream that they have. I really don't know. This isn't Sesame Street. What do you expect? I'm just some schmuck in a car with a camera pointed at my face and my ghost passenger toolbox over here. So, that's it. I have to go get gas. I'll see ya.